What you just heard is called a drum fill. And in this lesson, you are not only gonna learn what they are, but you are gonna learn how to play them for yourself. But first, what the heck is a drum fill? Well, let me give you an example. Drummer A will play a drum beat that goes from the verse of a song right into the chorus. And it sounds okay, but there are two big problems. One, the song starts to sound very repetitive. And two, there's no anticipation of going from one section to the next. But drummer B plays a drum fill from the verse into the chorus. Which adds that anticipation and breaks up the song in a new way. All they're doing here is taking a moment to deviate from the beat and play almost like a mini drum solo, just going from one section to the next. So now let me teach you how to play this exact drum fill. First, play four alternating notes on the snare drum. Right after that, add four notes onto the rack tom. Finally, let's play eight notes on the floor tom. Now, let's put it all together. The real key is being able to play a drum fill cleanly after a drum beat. But how the heck can you do that? And how can you work on these transitions? And when the heck are you supposed to play these fills? Now this is actually lesson number two from my free course, Become a Drummer in Seven Days. And I'm releasing these lessons right here on my YouTube channel over the next few weeks. During this time only, I'm giving you 15 days free to DBO Academy. More on that in a little bit. So let's take a drum beat that we learned in the last lesson. It sounds really good, but when the heck do we add in the fill? Well, a lot of the times people will add a fill on the fourth measure. So that means you've played the drum beat three times and on the fourth time you go for the fill. And even more often, people will do this on the eighth measure. So you've played the drum beat seven times, and when the eighth measure comes around, you throw in this sick fill. Here's an example of what that sounds like. Now it's time for Gabe's troubleshooting. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> if the transition points are starting to feel really difficult, well then slow it down and really focus in on that transition point. So instead of playing a fill every fourth measure, you can repeat it every other. So play a beat for one measure and then a fill for one measure. And the more opportunities you have to work on it, the cleaner and smoother your transitions will get. Now, I know it can be incredibly difficult to transition cleanly between beats and fills. And what can be even more difficult is transitioning from beginner drummer to intermediate to advanced, especially when you're just searching random YouTube videos where you have a bunch of different teachers teaching you a bunch of different things, and it leads to really scattered progress. The best way to break beyond this is to have a customized path where you can make consistent progress to take you from one stage of your drumming to the next as fast as possible. And that's exactly what we've created for you at my online drum school, DBO Academy, where we understand that every drummer has a unique journey and a unique path to follow. And that's exactly what we've given you with our DBO drumming path tool. When you sign up, you will take a placement test that will put you exactly where you need to be to make consistent progress and take your drumming to the next level fast. And if you don't feel like you're making fast progress in the first 30 days, we will totally give you your money back. Now for a limited time, we are also giving you 15 days free to DBO Academy so you can experience it for yourself. But like I said, it's for a limited time. So to see if it's still available for you, click the link right up here. Like we learned in the last lesson, there's a secret that you can apply to this one drum fill that can make it sound like many. Secret number one is to simply move your dominant hand, which is just whichever hand you're most comfortable with. For me, it's my right hand around the kit 
while keeping your weaker hand on the snare drum. Here's what that sounds like. Secret number two is we can actually play less notes. So instead of playing four notes on each drum, we could play two notes on each drum and then build it back up, play three notes on each drum, and then eventually four notes on each drum. And it starts to sound really unique. Let's check it out. Now you can put everything together with a drum beat and move through all the different options of what you just learned to really make things sound amazing. To get the complete roadmap to become a better drummer fast, click right here to get your 15 days free to DBO Academy or click right here to meet me in the next lesson. Stay true.